Hi, my name is John Platt. I'm a sales rep and product specialist here with USA Industries. And today we're going to be removing a snapping plug. But before we remove the snapping plug, we need to touch base a little bit on safety. One thing you need to make sure you always have is your proper PPE, whether it's proper gloves, proper eyewear, steel toe boots, or any other PPE your facility requires you to have on hand. Before we move into uh, removing the snapping plug, you need to make sure you have the proper spear and you make sure you have your slide hammer. Later in the video, I'm going to show you how we put everything together and remove the snapping plug. Today, we're going to be using a size 2 removal spear because we used a size 584 snapping plug. To make sure you have the correct size spear, you're going to take the tip of the removal spear and put it into the ID of the pin. Once you have a few threads in, you know you have the correct removal spear. Let's go ahead and back it out, because what you need to do next is put it onto your slide hammer. Now that you have gotten the slide hammer out of the installation and removal kit, what you're going to do is install the snap it removal spear to the open end of the slide hammer. This is all to be done by hand. Once you have done that, it's now time to put the removal spear into the ID of the pin and remove this plug. First thing you want to do is put the tip of the removal spear into the ID of the pin. You're going to tighten it down, hand tight. While you're doing this, you want to hold the slide hammer as level as possible. You want to keep as much stress off the tip of the removal spear so it does not snap or break off. Once the threads of the removal spear have gone completely inside the ID of the pin, you are now ready to forcefully slap the slide hammer forward twice to remove the pin from the ring. Now that you have dislodged the pin from the ring, you will take your wrench, turn the spear clockwise, tightening the spear into the ID of the ring. Once you feel that the spear has tightened into the ID of the ring, you are then going to start forcefully pulling back on the slide hammer to remove the ring and pin from the ID of the tube. Remember when you were doing this to have the back or fat part of the hand on this side of the slide hammer. Reason being is that it will cushion the blow while you're forcefully pulling it back, keeping you from harming your hand. You also want to make sure that no one is directly behind you or nearby, so you do not hit them with the spear or slide hammer. Now you can see you have removed the pin from the ring and remove the entire snap and plug from the ID of the tube.